Hello, oh, sunshine. Glad you're here. Thanks for being here. What we're going to do for you today is starting on this steel 026, starting over from scratch. We've done junked one cylinder, scored it up that we'd ported. Uh, somebody suggested starting and doing it one step at a time and dynoing it for every step, uh, which I like that idea. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to check the timing numbers on it, see where we're setting at, check the squish. If it gets a little boring, jump around a little bit. Uh, I realize I, I showed some of the process of checking it. So if that's too boring for you, jump ahead a little bit. Ain't going to offend me none. I get it. Some people want to see it, some people don't. Here on out, I probably won't show timing or anything like that. It takes me a little bit to edit videos. I'm just doing an intro for the other one. It was back 23 degrees that, or 13 degrees that day. Fahrenheit, which is uh, a few below Celsius. Today's 48 degrees, so it's like 10 above Celsius. Got to take all that in, into consideration, guys, whether you're just test cutting or running dyno. It makes a huge difference. The weather, it made, uh, don't give me the line right now, but 5 or 6% difference between that day and today because I'm already, I'm already a few steps ahead of what I tell you we're going to do today. So, uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed in expecting the next one to come and the next video don't come we're already there uh i'm just dropping them as i as i can get them edited guys appreciate it if uh if i earned it give it a like if i didn't i, I get that if you want to see more of this kind of stuff uh go ahead and subscribe you'll also see my animals if you like that i don't know some people do some people don't without further ado here we went okay we're gonna measure the squish on the new cylinder you think, well, why we got to put on there? Well, I'll tell you. I did. I wanted to measure the squish on both sides at once, so I put a little grease on top of the piston and put a piece of solder on there so that I can I can check it. I can check both sides at once, and if there's any play or rock, I'm getting a good indication. Uh, if there's any rock in there, you can get a squish, squish reading wider than what your squish is because it's, it's uh, levering down on that one side. That solder's holding it down maybe more than it would if it was straight. It probably ain't much, but I want a good indication of where I'm at, so that's what I'm doing. And it don't take that much longer. I don't, I don't have to put rings on it or nothing or anything like that. So it don't take that long to do it that way. And then, uh, then I know where I'm setting for sure. And don't have to fret, and don't have to fret being wrong. So you can see, we well could have, you can see how that little bit of that fine grease has held that right down there on that piston. Matter of fact, you see me almost drop it and it stayed there. So well, I think we've got a pretty narrow squish and the looks of that, I'm guessing, shoot, 18, 20 thousandths. I don't know. Uh, I was thinking about cutting the base. Uh, 20, let me make sure I'm zeroed. Nah, I'm at one. I guess I ought to get me one of them digital, digital ones, but We're at twenty thousandths right there. Just twenty thousandths flat out. Um, Eighteen closer to the edge. So uh, you can see eighteen on that side. And I was reading nineteen twenty thousandths, just doing it one side at a time. See there, I'm at seventeen thousandths out close to the edge of that. So I'm not going to take anything off the base of that. There's uh, 18 thousandths. We're at about 18 thousandths with this stock stock cylinder. But we're, we'll end up putting some uh, gasket sealer on there so it'll raise a little bit. But not very much. So uh, I think I'll put the cylinder back on it and get some timing numbers. I think that's, I think that's next, don't you? Alright, let's see what we got here on the exhaust. Right in there, 
hundred and hundred one and a half. So we got seventy degrees, so hundred and forty degrees intake timing. We're starting with a different cylinder. We're gonna put this together stock and do a dyno, run some test cuts, and uh, let the ring start seating things like that, and give this cylinder here a fair shake before we start doing any piston mods or uh, porting to it. I want to give this stock cylinder a fair shake again. Aftermarket big bore, second go around. Uh, got warmed up already. Uh, aftermarket big bore, no modifications whatsoever. Didn't even clean the roughness out of the transfers. Didn't clean the uh, castings out of the intake. None of that. She just how she come out of the box. No base gasket. No machine work. Nothing. Nothing to it. Just no base gasket. Both rings, everything. New cylinder, no mods, first run. Half tank of gas to it. Uh, probably a tank of gas to it now. Okay, we got our test cuts done. Uh, got the dyno run done. Here's the results of the dyno on the uh, uh, new stock cylinder, no base gasket. You see, 3.20 corrected horsepower at 9,769 RPMs. Uh, just barely missed out on three foot pounds of torque at 5966. Uh, the, of course, the dyno actually showed more than that. Uh, it's a pretty cold day. Uh, it would have been showing the air pressure correction factor So it would actually have been showing about 12% more than that on the dyno on the peak horsepower It would have showed like 12% more or whatever that Calculates out to be but we want to be honest with ourselves and honest with each other uh, So we take our lumps where we get them. It was like 13 degrees this day uh, So it's cold so it's all run good uh, now the the old base, the old, uh, the only thing which I have to really compare it to is uh, the other aftermarket Chinese M cylinder I had. And you can see it was uh, only 2.58 horsepower. It had terrible timing numbers on it. RPMs on the peak horsepower was down over a thousand. Now this, this was on a good bit warmer day, uh, better humidity and whatnot, better barometric pressure, correction factor was 0.929. We can compare those two aftermarket versus aftermarket, and you can see uh, just bolt them on. Now this one did have a base gasket in it. This one here didn't. Uh, two different two different brands of cylinders. Timing numbers were just way far apart. If you can go back and look. There's a video of that one. So you can see the new aftermarket cylinder is starting out rather rather well. Like I say, it's it's over it's 1100. RPMs higher on max torque, uh, about eight tenths of a horsepower more, over three quarters of a horse. Uh, 
max torque was up and that's all taken into consideration the weather stick around next thing we're going to do is do the windows on the piston and the transfers lower and upper and just clean them up a little bit and open them up and see what kind of gains we get there we're going to do it one step at a time